I try not to say too much about my work so that people can interpret it the way they want to interpret it. But so often my work is quite ambiguous. Um, it's more about the sort of the soul of that person that's, that's what I'm trying to capture. And a lot of my work recently seems to be about having a kind of a, a sentinel, guardian, keeper, watcher type figure that's um, probably somebody that's no longer with us, but they're kind of there in spirit and they're looking out for you and, yeah, kind of keeping you safe. <laughs> I mean, usually I've, I've sort of got a sketchbook going and I'll just sort of jot down a few ideas in, in the sketchbook and then um, sort of look at those, mull over a few um, and see whether they're going to go anywhere or not. Um, possibly make up a maquette, which is a sort of small piece, either in clay or something very sort of quick. Um, and then if I think it's a, a sort of a goer, then I'll, I'll kind of work it up in a, in a sort of larger way, maybe something like that. Again, this is where I'm not very patient. You're supposed to sort of wait until it's all settled, but um, I tend to uh, be a bit impatient. Hence, it's a bit lumpy. <laughs> but at this stage, it doesn't really matter. So. For me, it's very much about touch, um, and, and particularly working with clay or plaster. I find I get that real connection and, and I often find I can be, you know, if I haven't had time in the studio, um, I, you know, I get quite ratty and irritable and crabby and then, you know, you put your hands in clay and you just kind of like, oh, I've come home and, and it's that feeling of just, yeah, being completely comfortable with the medium. I very rarely use a modelling tool. It's, it's nearly always done with my hand and for me that's quite important that it's, yeah, it's, it's my movement, my touch, um, that's, that's creating something. The frustration, though, is that you never get that as a finished result. So, like with the painter, if he paints on the canvas, that's it, that's the finished piece. But for, for, for a sculptor, there's always some process that you have to go through. So it's either, you know, if it's fired in the kiln, it can shrink in the kiln and change. If it's cast, it's you know you've got to have a rubber taken of that, then the sort of a, you know medium put into the rubber, and, and so it's yeah just physically feeling it, I guess. When I was at college, loads of my work was all about the sort of um, the balance point and kind of like getting slightly over the edge. So as a result, everything always fell over. Um, but it's that sort of just always quite liking being on the sort of tipping edge, being on, on balance, being slightly off kilter, so you're sort of not quite comfortable. Um, yeah, that seems to feature quite heavily. <laughs> yeah. What you leave out is just as important, if not more important, than what you put in. So um, I think I'm always sort of modelling and then thinking, how little can I get away with to express what I'm trying to say? This is my bag of goodies. And often you sort of think, no, it needs a little bit more, needs a little more, and then overkill, you've done it, you know, it's just, you've lost it, so you have to kind of go back to the beginning again. I always quite like that, I don't know why, that uh, where it looks like it's got sort of bulk but it hasn't actually got bulk. Um, so from the sides they're often quite thin, um, so you get a different sort of perspective um, from them. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of model something up in, in quite a lot of detail and then just sort of wipe it away with my hand so that it was there and then you're left with sort of hopefully less but you know it was there and the it's a bit like when you dream I often find um, I don't remember features or I can't see features in a dream but you can sense the personality of someone in the dream you know if they're a kind person or a 
um, or if you're feeling uncomfortable, they're a, you know, they're not a very nice person. Um, it's it's more about the relationship with you and that figure, how you're reacting to it, how you're responding to it. Um, so I think it's yeah, it's those sort of things that um, I'm fascinated by.